Hey everyone, it's Gumdrops here, back for Method with some news, updates and thoughts on the World of Warcraft economy. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to be talking mostly about Classic in this edition because I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but there's a beta and stress test for the upcoming Classic launch going on. Maybe you're playing yourself or you're amongst literally hundreds of thousands of people watching the likes of fellow Method streamer Sfan or Soda Poppin and Asmongold battling it out in the first zones of the original game. Remembering how difficult it is to acquire money during those early levels after spending their entire capital upgrading their spells and abilities, picking up new weapon skills, or buying that one item slot upgrade for an extra 2 strength. Since that is the case, the modern game in Battle for Azeroth is taking a bit of a nap in the period before patch 8.2 is fully launched, which at the time of recording still has no concrete release date. However, speculation so far has put the new raid at least, Azhara's Eternal Palace, in the calendar for late June or perhaps even early July, which means the patch itself has potential to arrive in a couple of weeks by mid-June. So with the classic beta in full swing, I wanted to look at things from the perspective of a gold maker in both current and classic WoW, just to see how things might be affected by each version of the game, then dig through some old documents from the museum of gold making to see just how anybody made enough cash for their epic mount back in the day. So as you may know, a number of content creators and community influencers were invited to attend a classic WoW summit at Blizzard HQ this time last month. All of those interviews and playtest videos have been shared or published by now, but there are a few points from this dump of information that I've picked out that I think are relevant to you if you focus on the in-game economy. I used wowhead.com for the roundup of all of these articles, so a big shout out to wowhead for that. You can of course check them out for all the news on the classic beta and everything else to do with wow. Now the first couple of things came from an interview by Spanish fan site wowchakra.com with executive producer John Haidt and senior software engineer Omar Gonzalez. These guys confirmed that there will be no WoW token in Classic, which is probably to be expected since it'd be close to impossible to balance the value of a token between the original game that isn't going to be changed and the modern in-game economy that has 15 years of maturity and inflation on top of it. Their second confirmation was that it won't actually be possible to run the classic WoW client and the current game client at the same time. They said if you try to log in on classic while playing a character on the current game, it will actually be logged out. So I think this is pretty disappointing as many gold makers have described their ideal scenario in being able to repost their auctions or restock their crafted profession gear or just scrap thousands of bracers for expulsum in the background while they explore and level through the classic experience. In theory, if you have two WoW accounts, you could play the current game on your primary account and then also play Classic from the second account, but we don't actually know just yet if that's going to be the case. WoWhead's own interview with lead software engineer Brian Birmingham and production director Patrick Dawson of the Classic team touched on the topic of community and add-on APIs. If you're not familiar with what a developer API is, it's basically a structured set of data and functions provided by, in this case Blizzard, and that data contains all kinds of useful information that can be used by community sites to track your Mythic Plus score like Radar.io, track your mounts and achievements like SimpleArmory.com, and most important for gold makers, the essential tracking of auction house prices like the Undermine Journal or Trade Skill Master. Brian and Patrick indicated that there would be API support for Classic, however it won't quite be ready for the launch, and there's currently no information on what it will provide since it won't be the same as what we have in today's World of Warcraft. Their quotes, we are starting with our modern codebase, and that includes the modern API, but there are add-on APIs that don't make sense for Classic, and in those cases we're trying to roll things back to reflect how the game behaved back then. So with these changes to the in-game add-on API at least, it is still to be seen if modern World of Warcraft add-ons will function in this classic environment. Specifically thinking of Trade Skill Master, the team have not come to a conclusion in discussions on whether TSM can or will be present on Classic WoW. It almost certainly won't be possible to simply duplicate today's version and see it work out of the box on Classic, so it would likely require a new version created especially. This also kind of assumes that Trade Skill Master should be present on Classic WoW, and even though I don't intend to play, I personally don't think it should be, since it wasn't a thing in vanilla, and that would defeat the purpose of recreating that original experience with no changes. 
I'm fully aware of how much of a hypocrite that makes me sound since I'm not going to be playing, but Trade Skill Master specifically is such a powerful add-on, it would completely change the way the classic economy functions. I'd even go as far as saying the same thing for other add-ons like weak auras or deadly boss mods, but so far it does appear that they will have some presence in classic in some capacity, so maybe there's a precedent here for Trade Skill Master to follow suit with a lighter version of the add-on. You can follow me on Twitter for any updates on that as they become available, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on whether modern World of Warcraft add-on should be recreated in Classic. Following the train of thought about how the economy can be affected, there's been a bit of a discussion in the community about what's going to happen to the player base once Classic is launched. Some think there's going to be a split and there'll be a lot less general player activity in modern WoW after August, however I think we might even see an increase in gold making activities from players that are mostly only interested in playing Classic but want to pay their subscription through in-game gold to token conversions. This of course would have been a lot easier in Legion and Warlords of Draenor from the mission tables but in Battle for Azeroth you'll need to be a bit more proactive in your gold making, so I do expect some players to shift their focus from progression raiding in BFA or PvP for example to try and earn more gold for their token while they play Classic. There's also the potential for the movement of gold between servers to be extended between both games, and while it's not a supported transaction by Blizzard, you can offer someone gold on one server to receive it back on another. What's going to happen to the economy if someone is offering gold in Modern WoW in return for gold in Classic WoW? It's likely that this won't be allowed, but will Blizzard step in when it is a transaction between both versions of the game versus just two servers, and will they prevent this kind of thing from happening? I have reached out to my contacts at Blizzard to try and get further clarification on this, because this may end up being a punishable action, and we don't want anyone to run the risk of losing their accounts by doing this. Having said that, I can't see this being a long term necessity for the individual player, there's simply just not enough stuff to buy in Classic since the idea of gold sings weren't introduced in later expansions like Transmog, Luxury Mounts and the Black Market Auction House. In any case, I featured some of the ways people remember making gold in vanilla on my recent Wowhead blog, there are some great additional comments from the community with added strategies, so if you want to get a head start in your planning for classic money generation, like twink markets, crazy farms and niche crafting, definitely check out the link to that in the description below. So that wraps things up for the classic edition of the economy series here on the Method YouTube channel, I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether you're going to be playing, and if you're going to try and hustle some gold, I'll be hanging out in the comments as always and you can catch my streams 3 days a week talking all things gold making. Once again, I've been Gumdrops with Method, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the next edition of this series. If you have been, thanks so much for listening and until next time, happy gold making.